Hey guys, Lana from Red Moto. So today we're gonna to be working on this 2013 Lexus ES300 front bumper removal and installation. If you guys like this video, go ahead and like, subscribe, and turn on that push notification. And then also, if you guys need any pre-painted auto body parts for your car, go to redmoto.com, your pre-painted auto body parts source. If you guys need this particular bumper for your vehicle, the link is up above and also down below. Let's get started. All right guys, so on the bottom right here, you're gonna have 10 millimeter bolts running through the bottom. So you're gonna get either a ratchet set, like this one, and a 10 millimeter, like that one. Or if you guys have an impact gun, great, that'll work also. So just right behind the front bumper, you'll see these bolts right here. It's gonna be 10 millimeter. They run from the side of the vehicle or the bumper all the way to the other side. So you guys can see there's gonna be six of them. One, two, three, four, five, six. And they look like this. All right, so now we're gonna to come to the side of the vehicle or side of the bumper. And you guys are gonna see like right here, there's a, um, it's like a push pin of some sort, but you just need a flathead screwdriver like that. And right here, there's gonna be a slit. So you turn it, let's see if it's gonna be this way. And then you insert it. There we go. So you gotta pull this little clip off right there. So as you guys can see, just, you just twist it and then it should go this way. To take it off, it should look like that. Okay. There's actually a tab right here. So let me take that off. You just need a fly head. It's gonna be a tab that's holding it back. So, the fender liner was being held on by this tab right here. Okay, so, so now, you're gonna go ahead and pull it back, just like that. And right here, it's gonna be a 10 millimeter. It looks just like that. All right, so you're gonna repeat that same exact thing on the other side. So you're gonna get a fly head, like this one. You're gonna insert it right here. Let's see. Yep. So these tabs look like this. All right, so when they're depressed, they look like that. So all you do is, with your fly head, you go in there, kind of wedge it in between this thing right here, and you pop it open. So just wedge it right there and pop it open, and it should look like this, and that should be easy to pull out. So we're gonna go ahead and find out where they are. So it's gonna be one right here. gonna be one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of them that you need to take off. So go ahead and take it off. So there's this thing right here. It's like a little stopper. So if you go ahead and use your flathead and kind of pry up on it, it'll come right off like that. Opposite side. So to take this off, let me push it down, you see like this slit or slot all around it. All you do is put your fly head in there and twist it and then it goes up. All right guys, so there's just this rubber piece right here. If you lift it up, you're gonna build this uh, push pin right here. Again, with fly head, go ahead and push that up and then take it, and it should take it off right there. Okay. So, on the other side, same way where that flap is, go ahead and pull that back, and then take this push pin out. There we go. All right. 
rocking and rolling here. We got one last one, it's right in the middle. Let me get you guys up closer. So where your, um, what's this, uh, hood hinges are, or lock, right in front of it, there's gonna be a push pin right there. And then take that off. And again, these things get, that's yeah. really brittle. Let me get, all right. So it looks like that. That should be it. That should be it. Let's, let me just double check. Yeah, that's it. So let me show you guys how to take it off. On these bumpers, we're gonna pull one side first and then we're gonna go to the other side and pull that off. And then we're gonna go ahead and slowly pull this bumper back because you have sensors here also, so you don't wanna yank the bumper off, okay? Because there will be connections that you gotta have to take off, especially with the fog lights, the sensors, and maybe even some sensors, adaptive cruise control sensors or something like that that you take off. But let me show you guys how to do it. All right, so go to this side right here, then you should be able, oh, okay. Okay, so right here, there's this clip right here. If you guys look right there, there's this clip right here that's actually on the bumper where that screw went in. So push this button right here, push it down, and then this should slide down, okay? Should slide right off. Let me go get that on the other side. Actually, let me show you guys how I did that. Guys, okay, so we're on this bumper right here, okay? Pull this back, and then you're gonna see this white clip right here. And all you do, let me get a push down on it, on the back, on, the, on that little tab. Push down on it, and then you should release it. It's a little bit harder to do with one hand, but as you guys can see, successfully done it. And it looks like that. So all I did was push down this tab right here. Okay. Now, as you guys can see, when I was pulling right here, I wasn't trying to yank it because whenever you guys take off the, um, all the stuff, all the screws and stuff like that, and if all of them are completely off, then this bumper should be really easy to take off. This should be very flimsy. And then when you yank it, it should just come right off. So as you guys can see, when I was yanking it, I was having some resistance. So I knew there was something that had to be taken off right here. Okay, so don't just pull it. If you guys are working on your vehicle and you pull it and you feel some resistance, don't go, don't continue. Stop and try to analyze the situation. But let's go ahead and pull this. Just like that. Okay, so let that dangle right there. We're going to do that on the other side. All right, so now that both sides are off, right here and on that side, go to the middle, and then grab the one end. So hold the top of the bumper and the other side and kind of, right there. See, I'm still holding it. So you guys can see when I push some pressure on it, it's because it's being held down by clips underneath the headlight. So I put a little bit of pressure on it and then it came right off. But because I was holding the top of the bumper, the bumper itself didn't completely fall. So I had a lot of um, support on this side, okay? So again, we're gonna do it on the other side. Here we go. So now it's off so go to the middle top part and if you guys can give some leverage on the grill slide it out just like that slowly all right there we go so now as you guys can see it's being held on by some wires there 
And if you guys yanked that, that would have completely yanked off those wires and that would have been a disaster. All right guys, so the fog light is easy. You just go to the clip right here, press down on it. Or you can twist it off, I think. No, you can't. So let's see, push down, there we go. So that clip, push it down and let go of that. Let's go to the other side. Same thing, this one has two wires though. There we go. Take that off. And have this one. All right. All right guys, so that's how you take off that front bumper right there. All right guys, so that's how you remove and install a Lexus ES300 front bumper. Thank you guys for watching.